Right, here is my Honda DeVille 650 2003 link brake rear caliper. Um, yeah, look at the stake of these pistons. There's your two pistons. Pads, the just pads sit in there. One this side, one that side. And when the you put your foot on the oh yeah on the brake or the pull the lever. Uh, forces hydraulic fluid through the pipes and these pistons come out and they squeeze your brake disc uh, via the brake pads. That's where the union goes onto there. There's the bleed screw. Okay, what I'm attempting to do now is to remove these horribly nasty looking pots and just see what the condition is like inside the two cylinders. Okay, right. Bear with me because I've got to do this one handed. Right, well, I've now got it clamped in the vise by the uh, slider hole. I have my trusty compressor. There it is. And my trusty tyre gauge <laughs> with the rubber attachment on. Now what I've done is I've put the I put the bleed nipple in in there and I've bolted it down. So all we have left is the hole there for the banjo. Now. If you can see, these shapes are, uh, so you can get the pistons out. Trouble is, if I just put that on there now and give it a toot with the, with the trigger, these pistons, if they do come, they're just going to go flying across the room. So what I like to do is literally just put a piece of wood in there, a little thin wafer of wood, um, like so. I don't know if I can do all this and record and press the trigger all at the same time. Uh, what am I going to do with this? Let's put. Let's do a bit of jiggling about. If I put that there. Will that rust on there? Yes, it will. Right, so that leaves me one hand to hold that on there and press the trigger. Right, so watch the pistons. Let's put some light on the subject, shall we? Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to press the trigger now. Watch those two pistons there. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. Let's uh, jimmy this out of there. That went off with a pop, didn't it? Hmm. Right, let's see if we can... Actually, the bottom half's not too bad, but look at the state of the top. Whether my brass brush will get that off or what, I don't know. See what I mean about these gaps? Because they're such deep pots, they need uh, access really full. It's actually not too bad inside, is it? Let's get a bit of cloth. in there yeah that's good I'm happy with that even if I have to buy new pots certainly a seal kit re required but apart from that not bad at all well there you go that's how you remove pots via air and compressor um, like I say it's this is just literally uh, a tire gauge you know with that bit on the end of it and uh, I've got this little kitty, it's rubber, sort of plasticky rubber. So that sits in there. And it's tapered so it fits all sorts of different size holes. Anyway, there we go. Happy with that. Okay, cheers for looking.